61 years old, a CBT in bioenergetic analysis, member of South German Society for Bioenergetic Analysis, German citizen living in Athens, Greece. Uh, he leads the <coughs> European Federation for Bioenergetic since 2011. Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, maybe I can add something. Cool. Okay, so I, I was trained in the North German society from 94 to 98. And I came to this, to this kind of work from working with the body. And I was a massage therapist before. And uh, most of my European colleagues, they come from psychology to bioenergetic analysis. So I, I did it another way. <clears throat> and um, I have a private practice in Athens and I live here since three and a half years. I fell in love to a Greek woman. This was the reason to, to move. <laughs> and, and usually before the Corona crisis, I was uh, traveling twice a month to different locations to work abroad, self-experiential workshops, supervision, and also some little trainings. Um, now everything is different, and I hope I can start to travel again in July. <laughs> yeah, very interest. Uh, I have a, 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 a special interest in your work in the Europe, <laughs> German, Greece. I will ask about this uh, maybe in 50 minutes. Okay. The first question, uh, who are you? Uh, where do you work? Uh, how did you learn about bioenergetics? And why <laughs> did you choose it as one of your ways of working? Okay. Who am I? I already told you. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, but I want to share the first experience with bioenergetic analysis. This was in 1988. I was working in a, a, in a psychiatric, psychiatric clinic as a massage therapist. And in 1988, I did my first bioenergetic workshop in Spain on the island of Mallorca with Heiner Steckel. Wow, Everybody, Heiner. yes, 32, 32, no, 32 years ago, yes. Wow. And that was a, a breakthrough experience for me. I had the first time such an emotional, uncontrolled expression of, of, emotions of, of uh, in this case of anger and hatred. Yeah? This was for me a breakthrough experience and I, I immediately thought, oh, this is what I was looking for for 15 years ago, you know, already. So I, I had this really nice breakthrough experience and then uh, I, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't uh, stop to follow it. Yeah? This is how it started and it was very nice. Our last interview uh, was with Heiner, I, uh, from an IBA, IIBA interview. Unfortunately, I couldn't understand Portuguese. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Heiner to talk yeah, in Portuguese. Yeah. And why, why bioenergetics? Uh, this was, uh, I knew, I was uh, trained in, in an acupressure technique and Heiner's friend, he's a, a medical doctor in Chinese medicine. They, they did this workshop together. So I was, I didn't know him before and I didn't know this kind of work, but it was announced. And so I had some personal connection and then I went to this workshop. So it was not a, a conscious uh, choice to, to say, mm. I do this or I do bi biodynamic or something. It wasn't a conscious choice. It was just. Personal connection. Okay, personal connection. Very nice. Uh, in 2019 and uh, uh, 19, uh, tw uh, 18, uh, the Euro e European Federation for Bioenergetic Analysis and Psychotherapy <laughs> was created, right? It is in, uh, um, since 1985. 1985. Some, some people started to meet to meet, to have a common meeting. And in 95, it was legally founded, the European Federation 
for bioenergetic analysis psychotherapy. This is the, the perfect name. Cool. And uh, it, was, it was created first. It, there was a need in the Europeans to connect to each other because they didn't like the politics of the IABA in this time. This what was happened? The, this, I don't know exactly. I, I, this was the origi original impulse to create this federation. Yeah. In, in the meantime, everything changed and we have a very good connection to IABA. Cool, very nice. And how was your experience uh, as president? Uh, you stayed in this role for more than six years, right? I uh, stayed six years as a president and now I am uh, in three years as a vice president acting as president. That means I am leading this organization since nearly nine years and in November my term will be finished. <laughs> this is a long, long, long period. Yeah. I had, a, I, I had basically very nice experiences. I am always, I was always a person of networking with, you know, other people from other countries. I am originally somehow a traveler. I defined myself even in my youth as a traveler. So I connect to other people. I, 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 I uh, did some, some, I think, important impulses during this time. I contribute. Uh, what do you know? In, what do you want to know in, in specific, in particular? Well, uh, how you work, uh, what do you do? Uh, how is uh, your association, you... <coughs> Uh, do okay. Congress like uh, IIBA, um, how the society, the, how the uh, European society see uh, your work? Yeah, so um, this organization, we have, I think, somehow 16 societies are, are organized there. How And many people? When we meet, we meet once a year. We have a general assembly, but they only send a delegate. The such societies, they send a delegate. So we meet, we have a general assembly. We have, uh, sometimes we organize workshops for, also for strangers, for everybody is invited to participate, just to, to uh, get to know to the modality. We have a newsletter. We, um, have a, a political function. This is very important in Europe. We have a, we are representing the modality bioenergetic analysis in the European Association for Psychotherapy. We have a certain status there, the modality, which is a, um, a high standard acknowledged status. This is the main political purpose of this organization. The other Purpose is that we exchange how to, we, we help each other. We exchange how to, how to get more students for training groups. You know, this is. He, excuse me. Uh, we help each other at therapists by therapist or with no, each other? No, it's more on a, on a political level. We, the, the European Federation is, is a federation. The members are only societies. Yeah. Compared to IABA, it's, it's an organization of individual members. Yeah. This is also somehow sometimes difficult how to relate to each other. We are, our members are only the societies. IABA members are only individual people, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> And we have, we have problems in Europe, you know, that there are so many different laws in, in so many different countries and also the acceptance of bioenergetic analysis is very different. When you, when you hear all this, this uh, movement um, in, in, in trauma work, there are so many modalities they claim they are, they have the key for working with trauma and of course body psychotherapy is a key to work with trauma, but they say bioenergetic analysis is much too strong. This is not good to work with trauma. This is a prejudice they have. We have, we are confronted with that and we are, 
uh, ambitious to convince people that bioenergetic analysis nowadays is not only breaking resistance and uh, armoring and uh, it takes time, but it, it works. We are on a good track, I think. Mm. So uh, today uh, exists the, this the, this kind of of uh, of look to bioenergetics like only a therapist a therapy that break. No, 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 it's not. But but in the, a few years ago, when I I was starting to to integrate our association, the Federation for Bioenergetic Analysis, in in the field of body psychotherapy. We became uh, an institutional member in the European Association for Body Psychotherapy. And they invited me for their board meeting and they asked me, how, how is your work? Because in this time, 10 years, 12 years ago, uh, we haven't been presenting workshops on these kind of congresses. In 2012 in Cambridge, UK, I was a, the only presenter from Bioenergetic to, to, to present a workshop at their Congress. And so uh, this changed a lot. We have a lot of colleagues now, they present Bioenergetic Analysis in these kind of uh, Congresses. And this is, I, I, I understand our modality. We, we belong to them. We are body like a therapy. Yeah? And, and it's not clever not being visible in this field. Yeah? We need to use this kind of interest. They can learn from us. We can learn also from them. In your way of work, uh, how do you see the relationship between bioenergetic analysis and the other approaches you work with? Okay. Um, I cannot say that I, I, I... Okay, I integrate some other approaches in my work yeah, without losing the identity as a bioenergetic analyst. I, I feel very safe and grounded in, in what I'm doing as a bioenergetic therapist. But... I also learned that it is, uh, especially when we work with early trauma, we, we come, we work through all this armoring we have, and finally you find a, a lost boy or a totally rejected girl. Yeah, how, how to deal with them and what kind of techniques you can use uh, to build structure if there is not enough structure to express emotions yeah and uh, i i am focused on this kind of of work this was for me very interesting because of my own story yeah i am somehow unrooted yeah that's why i'm i'm a traveler yeah, yeah. and uh, a little lost in space and uh, i found my my way to live with that and i understand this kind of people Cool, cool. Okay. Uh, uh, Raquel Galvani asks, uh, did you have any experience directly with Lowen? Yes, I had. Yes, a very, a very uh, interesting one. W our training group have been uh, in New York, 1997. And uh, we had two days ex exclusive with Lowen, 12 people. So everybody had two sessions with him and two experiences. I, I had a very strong back pain in this, in this time, uh, on my, in the kidney area, yeah? in the lower back. And uh, he, he, he um, recommended me a very crazy thing. I should uh, sit on the breathing stool with my legs in these uh, legs from the breathing stool to hold them and to, to go in, in the back, yeah? to wow. go backward. So to hold my legs on the legs of the breathing stool and I sit on the breathing stool, but I go backward. I thought I will break in the, in this area of the kidneys, you know, the, all the fear was, was uh, stuck there, was, was constricted. Yeah? And I thought I cannot do that, but I believed this is the master. I, I followed him. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, Oh, I will break down. And he was very, a uh, little bit, 
not very empathic, but very, very directly and clear here and said, uh, you are broken already. Yeah. He, he said to me, you are broken already. What hurts you is the, the things they fix this. And after that experience, it, it became very warm. I could feel the fear. So it was the first time I had, I had a, a, a chance to, to come out of this pain. He was very precise with that, very clear, very good. But on, at the same time, you know, like he was um, telling something to the audience, he wasn't so focused on me as a client in this moment. Yeah? Mm. But I, had, I, I took a very good experience out of this uh, little sequence and I could go on with, in my therapy with this exercise, with my therapist and for later. Now I even can do it by myself. I don't have this kind of problems anymore. Good. Very nice. Uh, yes. Which other trainers, international trainers, uh, did you know? Do I, I know Elena Greenlee. I know uh, Frank Letke. Frank Letke. Uh, from they have been my international trainers. I, of course, know Heiner Stecke. I know Vita Heinrich. I know um, Jörg Klauer, her husband. Uh, I, I know a, a lot of international trainers. Yeah. I also worked with Bob Lewis. Cool, cool. Only once. Cool, good, very nice. We have uh, a lot of good teachers. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, have you been working online? Uh, how is it working? Yes, I, uh, during Corona lockdown uh, phase, and even now I work online and I was surprised how good that works. I could, I could sense the things from the client, not in the same level like face to face, but very good. Especially after I did some, some grounding exercises in the chair with them, yeah, that the energy from the blocked uh, pelvic muscles can flow down to the to the legs to the floor to the feet and then when i felt the people are connected to themselves i could also sense what's going on in there uh, like i do it in, in 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 the session yeah the counter transferring reactions in my body even worked online so i could uh, use them for the for the process and uh, it works very good. Cool. You maybe create some technique or I don't know, uh, here in Brazil, uh, I hear about that uh, Jaime and Liane put um, uh, uh, ask to client touch uh, a paper, maybe ask the client uh, touch himself or our own chest. Do you have yeah. some ideas like this? Yes, I can. I, the, the, the main thing is to ground yourself, is to, to move your pelvis, you know, in, in the direction like, like in sex. You just do this, that you feel the bottom of your, your arse, you know, and from yeah. there is, is an impulse to, yeah, up and down. And this is releasing a lot of tension in, in this area. It gets warm and the energy can, can, can flow down can stream into the legs and into the feet. This is a very, very easy going thing. And the first reaction is mostly to start to breathe better. Yeah. And then I, I encourage them to, to modify this movement. Yeah. They start to make some twistings. Yeah. And everything on the chair. It's no problem. This, the chair on is the good. Chair. Yes. Wow. The chair is good. Nice. I do it on the chair. I do it just now. Yeah. Uh -huh. And, and then I can, for example, take the hands under my seat and press against, press my bottom against the seat. Yeah? yeah. When I have my hands under my seat. So this is also a strong grounding effect. When you breathe. Yeah. Yeah. Things like that. And I, I create a lot of, different things. If it is not enough, then they stand up, bouncing the pelvis against the wall to get more mobilized. Against the wall, wow. 
And I also do this this uh, TRE uh, butterfly yeah. exercise online with the, with the, with the clients. Some of them they they cool. want to do that. Individual uh, and groups. Uh... Only individual. Only individual. I think individual. I I didn't do any groups online. I, it's not my. I think I had a a meeting for a new project I I will create in in Slovenia online but i don't want to work body do the body work online it's not my uh, my interest I, i have some resistance against it but face to face one to one i have very good experiences mm. cool cool very nice very nice um do you work in germany greece uh, and uh, a lot of our countries other countries Uh, how yes. do you see cultural differences and how to apply uh, our technique in these uh, differences, cultural differences? Uh, okay, in Europe we can we can see that also the acceptance and the need to express suppressed emotions is is more more ready and more needed in these former uh, countries that belong to the East. To, to under under the influence of the Soviet Union, yeah, you see these these are uh, they are really crazy about expressing free emotions. Yeah, this is a a cultural thing I can I can uh, sense, and that's why the acceptance of bioenergetic analysis in such countries, for example, in Poland, which is uh, which has a very very nice society not so old yeah they have a third training group just now and they they have they are y younger people ruling the thing uh, leading the thing in the the institute in the rest of europe we are all old yeah we are when when you say younger uh, you are talking about how about 40s the, the 40s 40s yeah? 40s yeah. 35 to 50 or whatever yeah okay. this is young this is young in in europe cool. uh, in our field in our field yeah and but they are very they are very professional they are working very good this is um, and Olaf, I, excuse me so, sorry uh, why w what do you think about why uh, 20s why why this is the our youngers uh, i think it has to do with psychotherapy in general it Some people they say it only works from 40 on. Yeah, I think a, a, a 25 five year old student uh, is not so ready for this kind of work like yeah. somebody who has experienced some more problems by himself. Um, I don't know. What's your experience in in Brazil? Um, uh, in my in my view uh, here in Brazil, uh, our younger is maybe twenty eight, thirty, thirty, twenty eight, thirty. Yeah, but this is the time when it starts. Yeah, that you you get an idea of your problems, and uh, the older you grow, these this, uh, suffering, the pressure of suffering will be will increase. Yeah, and in the forties. There, this is a maximum, I think. Yeah. Okay. But please uh, keep talking about the uh, difference of the countries that you yes, you work. Yes. Yes. I I I found it. There's there's there are small differences in Serbia, for example. This is former Yugoslavia. The Serbia, they are to totally expressive. They are so vital and not afraid of any deep feelings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which I really surprisingly appreciated. Yeah, this is this was a very special thing I, I experienced, and I like. I also worked in Russia for, for. I did a therapy for the trainees for a while. I have been there eight times, nine times, and uh, they this deep uh, melancholy in what you have in the mentality of the of the country. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was very touching for me and bringing me in contact with my own sadness or with deep, uh, deep truth. Yeah, there yeah. is something I liked very much. Also, the courage they have. Yeah, unbelievable. They, these these people are not afraid of to go deep. 
and in in the more I see northern European civilized world, yeah, they are a little bit more hesitating, not so um, easily going deep. Mm. Very nice. In German? In Germany, we have a bioenergetic analysis has a very difficult standing. We have these two institutes. We have difficulties to, to get training trainees or trainees um, fortunately there is one international group in berlin it's it's uh, teached in in english so i can also when i have uh, my workshops somewhere in different countries i send them to this to this training group and uh, this works quite well this is a new um, positive spot in germany we can hope that this it can go on yeah? <clears throat> but there's a lot of other stuff we have a what i also want to want to tell you is that this interaction with eabp with this european other modalities under this umbrella of this institution this also uh, functions in germany in germany is this this national branch of this institution is very strong yeah we have they have more than 400 members or, and and uh, we created, they created a common curriculum for the training for the first two years. Yeah. And uh, this is also going on on the European level now. So that we, all the body psychotherapy modalities, they, they try to support each other and not compete to, and fight each other. They, they stay together, Good. create a common curriculum for the first two years. And then you, you are, you know, a body psychotherapist specialized in body bioenergetic analysis or a body psychotherapist specialized in a different modality. This is what is somehow they try to, to stay together and to strengthen the whole movement. Yeah. Because for, for your own, it's, it's becoming more and more and more difficult to stay as a bioenergetic uh, movement in, in Germany, for example. It's very difficult. These two societies, they have uh, mostly passive members and not very active. Like in other countries like France also, there's not, not so much uh, active movement. Mm. Uh, you, you know why? Uh, I don't know. This is, uh, in general, you also don't have so much uh, open workshops like in Brazil or, or like in other countries, they, the acceptance is not there. I don't know. Body psychotherapy, okay, in one-to-one, -one, there are a lot of therapists, they were working. But uh, in general, also from the mainstream therapies, they are integrating everything. For example, cognitive behavior therapy, they are integrating the body things you know they 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 call it like that it's mostly body awareness yeah which they integrate and then they say oh body psychotherapy oh we are also doing working with the body so and the mainstream therapies they are they are in the field they have the power they have the the money to they are in the universities to 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 take the students to their institutes the students and the professionals of the cognitive therapists talk that himself, talk with the body? They integrate uh, also somehow at least body awareness techniques yeah, in their yeah. modality. This is, mm. they, they say, oh, we don't need you. We, we are also doing that. Yeah? This mm. is, uh, we have to, and in many countries where there is a psychotherapy law, we have to fight the mainstream, we have to compete with the mainstream. They are mostly acknowledged by the insurances. We are not. So this is, uh, in some countries, it's not, not a fair competition. Yeah. We, we must be very much better. But although I am not worried, we have a lot of quality. Yeah, and even even uh, the strong work, yeah, the strong body work, what we are doing, um, 
the the strength in working with aggression. No other modality is is so so good in that, so so strong and uh, effective in working with that. We don't yeah. have to worry. We don't have to worry, but we need to be visible in the field of body psychotherapy and uh, find ways to, to go to the universities. I don't know. Yeah? But this is cool. uh, these are ideas. The cognitive therapists, therapy comes from the United States, right? Like bioenergetics. I... I'm not sure, probably. Cognitive behavioral psychotherapy. This is one of the main, mainstream in, in the world, you know. It's short time. It's just, uh, not yeah. going into psychodynamic deep analysis. Yeah. Uh, Raquel Galvani asks, uh, is there a basic curriculum for this, for, from the for the curriculum of bioenergetic analysis that that's two years that you talk about is a basic first, curriculum from we we created they created a basic curriculum for body psychotherapists which is the first two years yeah which has uh, same content you know all body psychotherapy modalities they learn in, in the ther theoretical stuff yeah it's the same content yeah like, and olaf excuse me sorry you are talking about uh, about uh, bioenergetic biodynamic biosynthesis yes 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 they have the same curriculum for the first two years and then they specialize more in in their own modality in the third and nice fourth idea. this is the very the idea nice idea to to you know to stay together a little bit more to strengthen the whole movement also in, in in regarding of acceptance in the in the world of psychotherapy cool and how they see william reich of course the it's the father of all our work um he has a in 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 europe this this name is is famous and in in the field it is essential of course he's the father of our work to yeah the founder of this uh, he defines this en energy work yeah which is also difficult to 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 communicate to the mainstream therapy yeah if you talk about the term of energy but it's so essential for for me at least that i was very surprised about discussions in order to be more accepted, not using the term energy so much. For me, this is not possible. This is a basement, a basic of our work. The flow it of is energy. not possible use the term energy. Some people discuss it in Germany, that it is not beneficial to use the term energy in the field of psychotherapy because it sounds crazy for other people. Yeah? Wow. M maybe a mystic thing true. yes yes wow. so but we cannot uh, we cannot do that is my opinion yeah this is these are our roots to to work with energy this energetic pulsating energy yes makes sense yes makes sense uh, because in brazil in my work my personal work i always told to the people uh, energy is not uh, mystic, mi mystic. It is real. You can feel. Yes. You can. You it is a blood uh, with oxygen and energy. But that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. yeah Thank yeah. you. For Thank scientific you. people, for scientific people, it's very difficult to 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 define that, or to, they want to know exactly what do you mean with that. Yeah. Yeah. So when you telling from organ energy from Willem Reich, yeah, this is crazy in their eyes yeah 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 life uh, energy uh, let's talk i mean so for sorry, us what for us is it is somehow so so normal to talk about energy and uh, the flow in the body yeah yeah but it's difficult to translate that to to other people sometimes yeah Maybe uh, it's a good idea um, 
uh, us uh, when IIBA talk to the world about energy, about how we see the energy uh, okay. to to break this this concept wrongly concept uh, that uh, between energy and mystic myst oh, mystical yeah. things. I don't know. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it's only it's, it's a specific German problem. I think they are very heady and very scientific. And mm -hmm. when I, I see I see in your country, I think this is no no problem. Everybody knows what it is. <laughs> yeah. And so accepted. Also here in Greece it's 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 more they are more in this energy. They are energy, yeah. Not so much yeah. the German mentality is very strict, very very analytic, yeah. So yeah. they're the more difficult to get this acceptance. Cool. Okay. Okay, uh, uh, very interesting. Is interesting. Uh, how do you see the future of bioenergetic analysis? Yes, um, you need to. This is very complex question because it it depends on where. Yeah, the future in China is maybe very very good because it's growing. Yeah, and uh, people are excited about the new thing and uh, and it's growing and in brazil it is spreading and it's already so present so you don't have to worry about your future there yeah. in in europe it depends on also on these different laws yeah and different movements i see the future in europe in this kind of under this umbrella with the other modalities of body psychotherapy because this institution of body psychotherapy can be strong enough to um, yeah to to bring it out in, into the public better than every modality by itself and we as I told you it it may be become the future in Europe that you are a body psychotherapist specialized in bioenergetic analysis this is the how I also understand myself already, yeah, without losing my identity as, as a bioenergetic therapist, yeah, but I am so enriched by other impulses, yeah, for my work that I, I, I appreciate that. And other people also learn from our, from us. So this is the time of more cooperation. It, this is it can only be the future in my eyes. Very nice words, and I I, I have a question. Uh, in Europe, the the body work uh, approach uh, they fight against uh, bioenergetic, biosynthesis, biodynamic. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. They are part of the body psychotherapy umbrella. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I don't see them fighting each other or, yeah, it is uh, always a very nice collegial atmosphere in the Congresses. Cool. I, I see that uh, very positive. Cool. Cool. Good. Uh, how do you see, how the, the European people see uh, the China, the Russia, the the Latin America uh, movement of psychotherapy is good for, for you guys? Um, Very nice. I, of course, we are glad that in other regions, it is not like in, in the Western part of Europe and not like in America, which is the, they also have a different uh, difficult stand in North America. Huh? So we are very glad about that, and we hope that will, yeah, this will spread. Yeah, cool. Maybe I, I just thought like the coronavirus, but it would, wouldn't be a, a, a nice ana analogy. Okay, okay. And what's your message to the new generations of bioenergetic analysts? The message is. Um, Self experience. Go, go to your deepest ground. Go to your deepest problem. Face it. Yeah. This is, this is uh, the key for being a good therapist later or whatever. Yeah? To know yourself as 
profound as you can. And therefore, you need to try also different therapists, different trainers, different people to, yeah, everybody has something which can resonate in a different way with your problem and can help you in this, in this point. Another guy cannot, yeah. So trying, trying different, um, different therapists, trainers, and going to your deepest ground. And this is how I understand bioenergetic analysis from the very beginning. That is, a, it is a way. It never ends. Yeah, you always find a little more uh, yeah. <laughs> deeper thing. You know, and uh, finally, it strengthens you. Yeah, you come out of this crisis again, and then you feel, oh, I'm I'm a little bit stronger than before. Yeah. So I also can tell you, I I suffer since. 30 and more years from personal problems. And I also, I still go through these phases also in the, during the Corona lockdown. Yeah. And it, it, I accepted that it will not end in, in this way. Yeah? In former times, I thought after 10 years of therapy, I will be healed and no problems anymore. This is an illusion. Yeah. But yeah. although, although it's worth to, to go again and again and to face the problems to um, the joy and the, the benefit later, yeah? a, a more rich sensational life, emotional life. It's, uh, it's worth to do that. Uh, what do you think uh, are going to be the biggest emotional issue when the coronavirus is ever? What, is, what means ever is, is over when the coronavirus over, is over? Uh, yes, uh, yes. Um, anyway, the, the Corona time, everybody who has an issue with, with being lost, being lonely, deep loneliness, I think this, uh, this social distancing is really affecting us in this sense. Yeah. Every, every person who is very, um, who needs body contact to, to feel, to feel good. Yeah. These are, yeah these people are really suffering in these times yeah and uh, they are, they can go to deep to deep crisis to to very deep places in themselves and uh when the corona virus time is over in your country it's it's not over at all i know you already have this lockdown do you you have a lot of problems uh, here yeah, our I, president i read that every day it's and, very sad uh, in, in my country, in Greece, where I live now, everything opens. Yeah? For 30 countries, they are invited to come since the 15th of June. The, the tourist season opens and we nearly have no cases. We had only 180, 190 deaths in the whole time. We have, we have 10 million people. Wow, so this good is, for you. This is not much. This is not much. And they did, a, they did a lockdown very early and it was very successful. We hope good. that... Uh, the tourists will not bring it in again in this in this so after th this is over yeah i think or also now in your country online therapy is helpful is needed yeah, yeah. that is yeah. these people can can stay in contact with their therapists i i offered there are some people they are therapists by themselves they didn't have any money anymore because the the work is, they couldn't work. So I offered them every two weeks to have a half an hour free, free talk with me on Skype. Yeah, just to, to keep the contact. To well, I think uh, that uh, we are coming uh, at the end. Uh, you wish to uh, say some words, last words. Uh... Yeah, I, I hope I could encourage you to all the people they watch us to to be enthusiastic about bioenergetic analysis that they that they can can feel the um the spirit i trans transmit to the people also in other countries and i i am still fascinated about the, this kind of work it's i want to encourage you to uh to enlighten you, you know, to enlighten your fire, 
for this yeah. modality and have a good try and have a have a good experience cool thank you Olaf thanks a lot uh, I am sure that your words will be very nice to our community 